lucky enough to have some of the most gorgeous butterflies right here in Australia. And Helen Schwenk has spent the last 30 years working out how to get them to come and live in our gardens. She's raised 46 species of butterflies in Brisbane and 74 species overall and has wow. tips for butterfly lovers right across the country as well. Please welcome Helen to Studio 10. <laughs> Helen, live from Brisbane. Now, what happens if you don't have much of a garden? Maybe just a balcony. Um, can you still convince butterflies to call by and live happily? Absolutely. You can um, you can easily get butterflies to come onto a balcony with a certain select number of host plants that can or food plants that um, feed their caterpillars. And um, those plants would be um, uh, some of the potted figs. So for the common crow, which occurs through Eastern Australia, um, you can get uh, potted figs or desert rose or stephanotis or mandevilla, um, and you'll get adorned by a beautiful silver chrysalis from time to time. Wow. And then uh, if you don't mind your sago, beautifully introduced sago palm, chewed by um, yes. uh, cycad <laughs> blue caterpillars, then um, it's a great one to put in a pot on a balcony. Uh, orchard swallowtails and also the dingy swallowtail will um, will live happily, will ha will grow happily on um, potted citrus. Oh wow! So That's and beautiful. then for a small space, you can do a whole range of other things um, as well. Wow. Helen, you'd be very pleased with me because I've got a garden and um, I had a new gardener that wanted to spray and I said, they've got to live somewhere. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just lost sound. Uh, oh, sorry. You're like the UN High Commission for Refugees, but for butterflies. Sorry? I am, yes. Sorry, Helen, can you hear us? We're having a couple yes, of audio yes, problems. Yes, yep. Anyway, um, can the caterpillars actually kill the plants? They can kill the plants, but it's very rare. Um, it happens on a few occasions where, for some reason, the, um, the plant isn't growing fast enough to support the caterpillar, but usually it means there's something else going on. And it's very sad for your plant and the um, effort you've put into it, but these butterflies, and if they're growing on native plants particularly, these butterflies have had relationships with their, um, with their host plants for millennia. Yeah. Uh, and there's the, the butterflies still exist and the plants still exist. So. In the long run, there's no problem. It's no. a bit sad for your individual plant. But um, you really need to think of, um, well, it helps if you think of butterflies a bit like um, uh, humans. Like, uh, we all start as an egg, mm. and eggs in this case hatch into caterpillars. And mm. if you start thinking about uh, caterpillars as baby bu butterfly babies, then if you're thinking about um, Everything needs the right food to grow. So um, hmm. you don't feed you don't feed uh, your kittens um, broccoli or your puppies chocolate. So think right. about feeding your caterpillars and your butterflies the right food plant. Exactly. And all kids end up destroying their parents, and we don't complain about that. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, Helen, one of my favourite butterflies growing up was the checkered swallowtail. So Ooh. what do they live on? What do they like to eat? Uh, they live on a. a a ground cover that spreads nicely. It's called um, emu foot, and you've, there's a caterpillar picture there um, that shows you the centre of the emu foot. It's a spindly little plant with purple flowers that you can actually eat the seed of um, that can grow through lawn and um, and yeah, it just it likes somewhat open spaces, but it's very um, it's very easy to grow in lots of situations. And Helen, uh, scientists are worried about the decline in butterfly numbers. Uh, of course, we've seen um, worrying things about bees as well. Um, can we all do our bit to help them? Do we have a sort of social obligation to try and attract more butterflies and make life a bit easier for them? Well, butterflies, just as butterflies need the right um, plants to grow, all insects that are herbivorous need the right plants to grow. So. Millions and millions of species worldwide are actually herbivorous insects and will use some plant part or another. And unfortunately, we like our plants not chewed. So there's actually a lot of things that people can do to, um, to help insects and the insect decline. And some of them are um, growing host plants, bringing nature home, um, joining your bush care group uh, or um, catchment or land care group. 
growing your own butterfly garden mm. and, and actually getting used to growing the plants so that the caterpillars will eat. Yeah, give um, up yeah. on perfection, you know. Absolutely, yes. We're gardening butterflies out of existence. It's, all, it's, it's great to have a beautifully manicured, manicured garden, but the gardens are there for an absolute reason. And for more information when she sees a perfect garden. I know, I know. It's nice to have a few nibbles about your plants. Now, for more information about butterflies and the plants that support them, you can go to earthling.com.au. Helen, thanks for joining us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Okay,